Welcome back. Today we're going to make uh, a summer tomato sauce. Um, this is a recipe I got off of Bobby Flay's uh, website. Um, let's look at our recipe right over here. We're going to begin with four ripe tomatoes that you're going to seed and dice. I'll show you how to do that. Four cloves of garlic, finely sliced. A half a cup of olive oil. One tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Quarter teaspoon red pepper flakes quarter cup of, a, of basil, salt to taste. You're gonna have about a pound of pasta and eight ounces of mozzarella. So let's begin. We're gonna start with the tomatoes. I've already chopped three of them, seeded and chopped, but I wanna show you how to do that. We just, these are such beautiful tomatoes. We got these from the farmer's market. I kinda of cheat when it comes to the seeding. This is what I do. I just, I don't worry about taking everything out. I just kind of squeeze it, not real hard, but you want to get most of the seeds and the pulp out. You don't want all that, too much juice. And you can use that for something else if you need to. So anyway, then you take your tomato and you're gonna chop it. And pretty good sized pieces. You don't want it, you don't want it too small. Make sure it goes through all the way. I'm gonna chop this side. This is one of the smaller tomatoes. I used much bigger tomatoes. The other three are a lot bigger. But I just wanted to give you an idea of about the size to, to make it. So that's about right. We're gonna throw those tomatoes right into the bowl with the three others. And let me get a towel for my hands. Next, we're going to add the four cloves of garlic that have been chopped. And it seems like a lot of garlic, but this is one of your major flavorings for this raw tomato sauce, this fresh tomato sauce. Mix that garlic through, looking good, looking good. Next, add half a cup of olive oil. All right, oh my gosh, this is gonna taste so good. There's your olive oil. About a tablespoon of balsamic. I have this wonderful fig balsamic that's really rich and delicious. Throw that in there, okay, mix her up. Next thing you're gonna do, I mean, this could not be easier. Next thing you're gonna do is put in your basil. And I don't have the chiffonade because I don't have your um, sweet basil. Today I'm using Thai basil. That just happens to be what I have in my garden. Um, so I'm just throwing it in leaf whole. I've kind of cleared them out and I um, picked them, washed them, and it's just the whole leaf. Uh, Thai basil is a little bit more, um, gives you a lot more licorice flavor, so this will be pretty intense, but it'll be delicious. Add a little bit of salt. It says salt to taste. I guess I would do eh, a couple good sized pinches. And um, you really want to bring out the flavor of the tomatoes. And then lastly, this is really it, you guys. Then lastly, you're going to throw in the pasta, which I've already cooked. Let me bring it over. Today I did, I did a, gar it's called garden vegetable. It's just, it just happens to be what I have on hand. Um, and I also thought the color would be pretty. So here's, let's start with this. I'm not gonna have the whole thing right away. It's kind of a lot. I'll use this. We're gonna mix this through. My pasta is still just a little bit warm and um, it, I wanted it warm for a reason because the last thing you add to this amazing, amazing pasta is these wonderful little mozzarella balls. And we're just gonna throw them in. I drained them, I patted them dry. This is the, this is where um, you can get this at, the, at any grocery store. And if you can't find these, then just get a chunk of uh, fresh mozzarella and chop it up. Because this really adds to the, uh, adds to the flavor. And before I forget, I've already added the salt, before I forget, add a little bit of um, red pepper flakes. And we'll give it a little bit of a kick. And I know you like that. So here we go. This is it. This is our fresh pasta for, the, for, the, uh, for supper. And um, you eat it just at room temperature like this. It's absolutely delicious. I guess I should take a sample, make sure it tastes okay. I'm gonna get the pasta. We have to get a little mozzarella, some of the tomato, get a little bit of everything, and then take a bite. Let's get it all together. The 
that thing wants to lay about. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wow, that's delicious. Mm. I think you're really going to like this. And it's so simple. You can make it for, for the family. You won't need any help at all. So um, anyway, have fun making this, and let's get together Thursday and see how it went.